Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to solve the 403 forbidden error in Housinger. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Housinger tutorials where I found a guide that explains how to do it. So the first way is use Housinger AI troubleshooter. Although still in the beta, Housinger's built-in AI troubleshooter provides actionable solutions to streamline troubleshooting. Housinger users can use it to fix the uh, 403 forbidden error with a few clicks. Here is how to use Housinger AI troubleshooter. On each panel, navigate to WordPress, then go to AI troubleshooter. You can check the help page to see if it detects the 403 forbidden error on your website. Then click on the uh, fix with AI assistant button to see its troubleshooting recommendations. Select fix my website if you approve its corrective action, otherwise choose try another solution so the AI will come up with another solution. Another way is by clearing your browser cache and cookies. The browser cache speed up website loading on future visits. However, if the web page's link changes, it can cause a mismatch with the cached version and trigger the 403 HTTP status code. Browser cookies, small files that remember your preferences and details, are also a common culprit of the uh, 403 forbidden error. While caches are dedicated to improving website loading speed, cookies focus on personalizing your browsing experience. That's why a forbidden page error usually occurs on a frequently logged in website. Keep in mind that this method will force the browser to re request site files, requiring you to sign in again on most websites. Here are the steps to clear cache and cookies on Google Chrome. The steps are similar in Firefox and Safari. Click on the three dots icon in the top right corner and select settings, locate privacy and security, and then go ahead and click on clear browsing data. Use the drop down menu to choose the time range. Click clear data to erase them. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.